Hi there, I'm with Susanna Cole again. Good Hello. to see you. Nice to um, be here. And we did a video like this about a year and a half ago, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm catching up with Susanna again uh, because last time we talked about residential property, and uh, a lot of buy to let people these days are trying to venture into something different and do something a little bit commercial. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to chat to you about some of the stuff um, you're doing in that arena because. Um, you've got an office now for your yeah. uh, business. You're not renting an office. You no. know. You've no. bought your own office down in, whereabouts is it? Down in Bristol. We're right beside, we're in a place called the Paintworks, which is quite a funky, uh, an old paintworks turned into a bunch of creative offices. So it's a really nice place to, to work, right beside the river, which is nice. Yes. And you've done the right thing, which is um, get an office that can, can that can deal with the growth of your business, yeah. but you may not need all the space exactly. from day one. Exactly. So what are you doing with all that excess space? Well, it was um, it's mainly inspired by food, to be honest. Um, we used to run education programs in, in uh, hotels, yeah. and whilst that is fine, it's a good space, I didn't like the sandwiches. I used to get frustrated about the conversations about better quality food mm -hmm. with the hotel team. And of course, you're spending quite a lot of money on mm -hmm. a hotel, which is a no value add to anybody that's coming to any of our education. It's just there. Mm -hmm. um, so what we wanted to do, because we like being quite real, is we wanted to bring our education back in house um, so that people, you know, if people said, what about this? I could pull out a file and say, here it is. Mm -hmm. So that was our first driver, bring it back in house. We extended up our mezzanine up above. And so at weekends, we now have really funky food, really great cake, which we can choose. And uh, we have our workshops and our mentoring, which means in the week, it's empty. So we rent it out on a desk by desk basis. So how does that work? What do people get? Well, um, a desk. <laughs> And what they get, it's quite a fun office. It's really nice, you know, it's a nice place to work. It's very, very central, right beside the train station, really in the city centre. Mm -hmm. We've got two internets, obviously, just in case of redundancy for ourselves. And they literally plug in and off they go. So, so what sort of communal facilities do you have to provide? Uh, we... <laughs> We have two toilets mm -hmm, <laughs> we, mm -hmm. and we actually have a kitchen um, and so we've got lots of teas and coffees and things mm -hmm. like that. We've obviously got printer but our printer's got code so if they want to do any printing which none of them do at the moment then um, we can charge them for the printing. But really what they're doing is typically they're people that have worked for larger organisations and they've now st started up their own businesses and they just don't want to be doing it in their bedroom. They want okay. to be doing it in a, in a, in a quasi-professional environment with a little bit of a buzz. Um, as the chap today, Adam, said, you know, us lonely solo workers, they kind of like the buzz of the business. And so, so they're upstairs, we're downstairs, and every now and again we go and say hello to them. Well, I think the other reason, of course, is folks like us have been developing properties and making them smaller. Yes. And there's no such thing as a spare bedroom or even a separate kitchen anymore. It's yes. open plan living. And it's impossible to work if you've got small kids and all the rest of it. So, yeah. so people will will come um, simply to basically get out of the house and be in a yeah. formal environment. Yeah. So, um, uh, how do they? On what basis do they rent? Are they paying by the day, sure. hour, or um, week? We've got we've got um, payment by the day. We've got p uh, payment by the month, and um, then the prices drop if they want to book six months ahead or if they want to book a year ahead. Okay. So we've been oh. we've kicked this off a little while ago. Um, one of our ladies has gone off to have her third child now, and she's already put her reservation for September when she's going to come back. So she knows that this space is going to sell out quite quickly, and she knows she wants to make sure she's back in in September when she's a mum of three instead of being a mum of two. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so what do you charge? Oh, it's so cute. Um, Thirteen pounds a day. So it's not enormous money, but you start multiplying that out by the day, by the week, uh, by the month, um, it becomes reasonably sensible. Um, and it certainly pays way more than the mortgage. I mean, it pays, it will end up paying about double the mortgage. So nice. Wow. It's all paid okay. for. So uh, £13 a month. Um, a, a day. A day. But yeah. there's obviously no weekend. There's no weekend. Um, <clears throat> they don't have keys. They, uh, um, we're, I mean, some of us are early birds anyway. So we're in at eight. Uh, some of us are late laggards. So we close at six. They come in. They leave. They hook up to the internet. They make cups of tea. And they go again. And they've got their own um, computers, I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. They bring in their own IT and Absolutely. all of that. Absolutely. And the where do you advertise? Where do you find people who want to <laughs> rent these things for thirteen pound a day? I know, I know. Which man's up? Uh, Facebook, Gumtree. Um, we actually just recently, for the first time ever, took out a commercial ad on UPad. So we had to get an EPC, which is fine. And so we're now on Rightmove and all uh, Zoopla, and it's advertised under the commercial bracket. And of course, our photograph, we paid a photographer, so our photographs are really nice as usual. And, you know, our office is quite funky. It does look like a cafe. 
Yeah, so it is quite cool, you know, oh, bare brick walls and hanging light bulbs and all that stuff. Oh, so, right, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, you got right, the gist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah do yeah. you do the design yourself? Yeah, I like One all that of your, stuff. Uh, um, <laughs> trademarks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, funky design, it appeals to what? To the sort of we work type of market. Exactly. Um, which probably isn't in Bristol because they focus on, you know, the London and all of that. Yeah. Uh, so it gives that sort of aspiration, yeah. sort of working and, environment. And what they quite like, I mean, we were actually chatting to one of the guys today, he quite likes working where he can other, peer other people on the phone. And for us, it's um, so quite uh, a few of our guys are recruitment consultants, but one man bands or one woman bands. So it's quite nice for them to have that kind of buzz and that activity going on around them without them having to get engaged in it. They just come in, they work, they leave. Um, but they have a little bit of socialising and they can hear other people really smashing it out. And, and they quite like the fun and the buzz. So it's quite an interesting idea. I mean, I think when you actually uh, came up with it, I guess there were other operators in your area doing yeah. a similar thing. Who did you uh, sort of research? It, How did you go about researching the market for this? It was actually our head office manager. She went round to three different organisations whose names temporarily but, but escaped me, but, but a couple of them are kind of market leaders. And she took all their terms and conditions, understood what they offered. And then we actually wanted to simplify it. Um, so they did per, per the hour and at the beginning we offered per hour and we're just like, nah, we just want a simple spreadsheet, we want you to pay up front and we want to buy the day, buy the week, buy the month, buy the six months, buy the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, 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 we but, but of course all, all of these guys have had every experience known to man, so we looked at their terms and conditions as a customer and should we just say we adapted them? Exactly. If you want to develop a new service, just cut and paste, guys. You've heard it here yeah. first. Yeah, simple, <laughs> That's what simple, uh, simple yeah. solution. So um, they're obviously, uh, and that gives a little bit of reassurance. If there are other people offering this service, yes. and you go around and you see that they're reasonably full. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what was the standard like compared to yours? Uh, some standards were higher in terms of quality of service. So we are very simple. Why? Because this isn't our primary business. This is just a nice to have. Isn't it nice that the office mortgage is more than double paid? So delicious. It pays for all the cake, pays for everything within the office and, and gives us a, a nice little bit of extra profit. Mm -hmm. So it's, And, and mm -hmm. also the, it, it, the importance is that we then have our education there, which is important. So some of them have receptionists, they have um, telephone messages, all of that stuff. But um, that price goes up for that. Exactly. Some people just want a bare bones, nice desk and, and, a, and a phone. I mean, you yeah. don't have to provide them a phone these days. No. People come with their own headsets yeah. and everything. Yeah, they come with it's the whole kit. It's just super fast. They band. literally come in, um, we get them plugged in, and that's it, they're away. The only thing we do, but we do this for our own business anyways, we've got two Wi-Fis. Because if the Wi-Fi were to drop for our own business, we'd be in trouble, so we've got a that's redundancy. That's essential. That's, that's essential. It. We've got one of these boxes that takes in... Uh, we've got Virgin coming in one side and the BT coming in the other side. So That's even if it. a cable goes in the street, it's, yeah. on, it's going to be the different cable. Yeah. And when they're both on, they all... Uh, work together to make the bandwidth super fast. Oh, that's very cool. So if one drops, then yes. you're on one. But when they're both working, you get super, super fast that's from cool. both together. Yeah. So it's a very neat solution, especially if you're subbing it I out like that. I think we might, yes. And what we found is they don't like to work Fridays. So oh, right. a bit like, because we do some service accommodation now as well, Sundays are kind of the dead days. you really got to drop the price. I suspect we're going to drop Friday pricing to get those Friday workers. Oh, right. So they do Monday to Thursday typically, or they do Tuesday to Thursday, maybe three three days, two uh, three days, four days with us. Okay. And uh, is there a dress code? Do you have dress down Fridays? And Don't all mind that? at all. <laughs> People come in their Bermuda shorts and what have you. <laughs> they can. Do, we had a very very heavily pregnant lady who's now gone off to, to have her babies. Yeah, whatever they want to wear. So, do you think um, is this just a one-off uh, for you because you're just trying to exploit space in the in in the own office, or do you see yourself? Um, uh, actually picking up office or commercial accommodation specifically to do this? This is a very interesting concept going forward because what's happening is you see in the cities and, and Bristol, we're absolutely got this. So Bristol got bombed in the war, in the war mm -hmm. and so the beautiful buildings in Bristol largely in the total centre got bombed out and so we've got tons of 1960s um, office blocks and they're getting rapidly uh, almost wholesale turned into resi mm -hmm. so the offices are moving out the young guns are kind of going into corporate deciding that they've bumped against whatever ceiling they've bumped against and they don't particularly like all of the kind of corporate culture they're then going out onto their own but they're they're quite driven they're quite professional this is a ma and of course the internet this is a massive growing market and um, I actually got introduced to the idea well I mean I've 
I think we all know it exists. But I got introduced to the idea a while ago. I was chatting to somebody who's the, the chairman of one of the business clubs in Bristol, and he had bought a three-storey former plumbing building, moved the plumbers out to a wholesale site outside a town and turned it into service tax accommodation. All very trendy, all very hip, and all very financially successful. In fact, one of my mentoring clients started their business off there because people want to be with people. Mm -hmm. this, is a very, this is basically the commercial side of Airbnb. Yeah, really interesting. And wow. it's where people are going, because if the offices have gone out of town, that may be a decision for the millennium generation that they do not want to do that commute, so they're going to set off on their own. And of course, as the private rented sector for residential becomes more and more regulated, more and yes. more issues come up, um, it, it, this is another way of using, uh, if you like, your HMO skills yeah. um, in yeah. a different environment which isn't regulated. Yeah. And the other thing that we're looking at this year, which you and I had a chat about briefly, so we don't want particularly to grow staff numbers. Um, we've got a tight team and we want to keep it quite tight. So we're looking at whether we're saving two and a half salaries by putting in tech instead. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. kind of a spend of maybe 60 to 75 grand that we would have had in team, we want to be spending five to 10 grand on tech. And this, this can all be largely automated. They can book in, book out. Uh, themselves without us getting involved. Oh, they don't wow. need to have yeah, keys. Yeah, yeah. Later on, obviously, we'll have the same kind of key cards that service accommodation can have. Yes. So, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. Okay, brilliant. Well, we can talk for hours. I mean, Susanna's going to be speaking here at the Baker Street Property Meet. Uh, there are plenty more of these videos uh, on, this, on this page where we talk to all sorts of people in property about what they're, what they're doing right now. Uh, the best way to experience Baker Street is to come down for a live meet. We meet on the last Wednesday of every month. And you can find out more about the next meet at bakerstreetpropertymeet.com. Thanks very much, Susanna. Thank and, you. And um, uh, see you guys soon. See ya.